Hello everyone and welcome to my Morning Report analysis video on Friday the 10th of August with me Richard Perry, market analyst at Hansip Markets. We've had a significant move uh, in the early morning European session. Um, we've seen that these markets are taking on an increasingly uh, risk-off phase. Um, you can see that uh, the dollar has broken out sharply above the uh, resistance to taking that to sort of what's that 13 month highs back to July 2017 and um, this has come as the euro has come under significant pressure and the, the general theme has been the fact that the, the, the sort of uh, mover behind it is the Turkish lira. Turkish lira has sharply sold off today. Um, there's been a diplomatic spat between the US and Turkey but also the fact is that uh, the um, sort of acceleration of the uh, Turkish lira lower and um, the uh, refusal of President Erdogan to do anything about um, sort of protecting that currency by hiking interest rates um, it has been a key factor behind that. Now the ECB have come out and um, well, they had, um, well there's been a, a report in the FT that suggested that the ECB are worried about the contagion risk of that through the Eurozone, through the Eurozone banks such as BBVA, Unicredit and um, it's uh, hit the Euro and that subsequently the Euro has sharply um, broken its key floor of 115 big figure. I'll talk about all those um, factors and how it's affecting the technicals in the uh, analysis videos in a bit. But also we're seeing sterling weakness and weakness generally across all the majors. But apart from the yen, the yen remains strong, actually breaking, um, actually a, a significant flow into the yen. Um, and uh, that is um, a key move, I think, that we're going to see um, as a safe haven flow. Now, not only that, look at these equity markets. You saw a very mild downside day on Wall Street yesterday with, with this S&P 500 only really slightly lower but the futures this morning have been um, sort of about half a percent lower and um, look at those selling pressures through the Eurozone markets. Um, FTSE 100 not so bad but certainly the Eurozone markets with that um, assessment from the ECB and contagion there being the driver. So uh, we really are seeing um, a little bit of selling pressure coming through here. How's that going to affect the VIX? Well, it's slightly higher at the moment, but uh, it'll be interesting to see if it really does start to take off and that could drive um, or be a, certainly an indication of selling pressure to come through. But uh, the DAX is under pressure. That's broken below um, support at uh, 12,493, although bounced laterally, but still it is br um, sort of on the brink of really sort of gaining some traction to the downside. So, um, what about data points today? Well, we've uh, got a big focus on US inflation today. US inflation is expected to come in um, ticking slightly higher, ticking slightly higher on US inflation um, to 2.3, uh, sorry, to 3% on the uh, core CPI. Sorry, on the headline CPI and core CPI at two point three percent. Now, um, that would uh, that three percent on headline would continue the divergence away from um, average hourly earnings, which is just down at two point seven percent. Before that, though, we do have the UK GDP data that's expected to um, show that uh, Q1 GDP was. Um, so, uh, back at 0.2% but Q2 GDP has improved to 0.4% so that's at 9.30 today and will be in focus but uh, the main uh, aspect will be the US CPI. Now my chart today is Kiwi. Now we had the RBA um, meeting earlier on in the week. Um, not too much there but from the RBNZ there was a key move. Now the key move was dovish and the RBNZ has induced a big selling pressure through the Kiwi. That big downside candle that we saw yesterday has continued today with the dollar um, strength anyway but uh, in light of the move from the RBNZ there has been a key downside rate below 66.85 which is a key floor and um, sort of uh, start uh, basically just continues the move to the downside of around about sort of 180 pips of um, of this range you could project that downside downwards and you get around about the 65 figure and you can see that the move to the downside continues look at the momentum indicators accelerating lower on the RSI stochastics and MACD lines all negatively configured and it all suggests that it sort of 
this continues the downside move and this uh, dollar strength has just exacerbated that we've broken below um 66 figure we're looking at 65 45 which is an old pivot very small pivot but to be honest the next kilo doesn't really come in until 63 50 area so there is certainly room for further selling pressure through that um through the kiwi and um in in any sort of rally scenario i think that would be used as a chance to sell initial resistance i suppose you could argue now is around 66 20 66 60 it was a bit of a pivot yesterday and then up around the old lows around 67 18 67 20 so yeah we are um looking at further weakness and i think anything that unwinds the kiwi back towards this breakdown level is a chance to sell so i wish you good luck in your trading today and i will speak to you later